Саша, еще спорю. Goodness. Doug, is your daddy awake? Doug Alice, is your daddy awake? You're so cute and getting all the cuddles. And then Sasha's getting all the mama cuddles. Pretty girl. You want some coffee, love? Yeah. Hello. Gosh, I just look mm, look better and better every time I get on here. <laughs> um, hey guys. Okay, so the camera is still working temporarily. It is really starting to go, and I'm just crossing my fingers and toes that it hangs on till Thursday because that is when the new camera gets here. So I ordered yesterday. Hold on, let me prop you guys. Great. So I just effed up my nail, and I'm not fixing it again. Like honestly, I don't even care. It's black. Can you tell? Can you tell which nail I messed up? No. Um, so I'm fixing, I, YouTube like automatically adds, adds into your videos when they're over certain minutes. I added like six to the vlog last night and I was like, we need to, we need to chill out a little bit. Just chill. Um, but I ordered a new camera. It won't be here till Thursday. I completely ordered a different kind because I think Sam just got home. Yeah, he did. Um, the G7X Mark II is what we have, and I really like it, but it kicked the bucket after two years, and that's a little bit annoying, um, but, you know, I also ordered a case this time. I ordered a different kind of tripod that'll probably be a little bit gentler on it. Like, I feel like the one I have now, it kind of, like, throws it around, so that's where we are. But Sam just got home from the dump, and I'm gonna do some stuff today. What do I have to do? I have to, I wrote it down on my phone. Hi, Mr. Dog. Do you have fun with daddy? Finish the laundry. I have to vacuum. Hi. I need to film a video. Those are the three things I have to do today because we're celebrating Tim's birthday with his family tonight. Hey, baby. Where you be? Did he go back outside already? Sam? Mm. So I vlogged like two days ago about how I needed to get all the laundry done. Does that laundry look done to you? I mean, it's clean, it's folded. It's just not up and most of it is mine. So I actually have to restart. Yeah, I just need to restart the dryer so that I can get some heat to them, get the wrinkles out. Okay, I'll stop walking around for one second. So basically, I'm just gonna cl start cleaning. Um, I do need to shower today. I'm not washing my hair, even though it probably needs it. I just need to shower for sure, but I wanna get at least the laundry put up and the vacuum started before I do that.
Okay, we are in my husband's office now. <clears throat> um, it's a little bit messy in here. I can say his name. I don't know why I still do that. Why I still like refer to him as my husband constantly. <laughs> But we got this exercise bike in. Um, we have the fan set up facing it currently because it is like, obviously if you've ever done one of these, you know how hot it gets. Um, but we got it on Amazon, it was like 300 bucks. It is a really good bike. He's actually a mountain biker and he's been very impressed with it. I know it's not the same, honestly, if he was a road biker, I think it would be, he would be a little bit more used to this. But. Um, I complained about the seat. He told me that this is one of the most comfy seats he's ever sat on and he didn't know why I was complaining. <laughs> so it's got a pretty good seat. Um, and then it does have this little thing on it. I haven't even honestly learned how to use it. Oh, I guess that's how. Um, but I do kind of like the Peloton hack. I'll put my iPad right here and then I will play um, a like spin class on YouTube. Like I just literally put in the search bar like spin classes and look up you know, the one that looks fun. I, there's no real method to the madness. So I'm about to get on this for about 30 minutes. Um, I'm trying to like get better about moving my body every day, even if it's for just 30 minutes. Like not necessarily just like working out, but just m moving. Um, and I think that was kind of my thing. Like last year when I started working out was I needed to work out seven days a week. And then my body, like it just stopped losing weight. And a lot of people were like, you're working out too much. Of course, when I started backtracking, I was like, oh, perfect. Like, I don't have to work out every day. And on the days that I wasn't working out, I was doing nothing. And I still want to move my body for at least 30 minutes. So I've been like taking Doug on walks and stuff like that. But today is a workout day. So I'm about to go change my clothes and I'm going to torture myself for 30 minutes. All right, guys. So Thrive Market order is here. Um, if you don't know what Thrive Market is, basically they have food. It's like a you can do a subscription service or you don't have to but you can get food shipped to you and um they have some cold stuff some stuff that's like what i have it's like pantry food and then some things like our refrigerator after opening type stuff but um but their website's like really cool and you can go through and like pick food based on your diet so i chose organic and gluten-free because i do gluten-free and then organic is just a preference um and this is not sponsored by the way <laughs> thrive market does not know who i am but i got an order from them and i figured i would share it with you guys because i got so many questions about it and i cannot get comfortable in these jeans because they just came out of the freaking dryer and you know that like just dried jeans feel and it's easy to sit in okay so full box here so i'm really excited by the way I made this smoothie that I made in my last vlog, I think is when I made it. Maybe it was the one before that. Um, but I did it a little different today. I did pineapple juice and then I added chia seeds. I think the chia seeds are a little bit too gritty with like the mixture of fruit and greens. Um, but the pineapple juice is good. You can barely taste a difference between it and the orange juice. So I think the pineapple juice is just a few more calories. So for Thrive Market, I got these bean filled bean chips, the spicy queso. Um, one thing you guys asked me was about the like size of the bags and I agree It's kind of hard online to see the size of this because like online you would assume that it's like a full Dorito size bag and you can clearly see it's not it's like half of that But these are they have four grams of fiber per serving and four grams of protein. They're gluten-free and then they're non GMO verified I got these brownie thins the classic chocolate. They're paleo friendly four grams of protein per serving um grain free and they're thin and crispy so these looked really good i don't know i've been really into like crunchy cookies lately and like crunchy snacks but i eat bars like lara bars protein bars and stuff like that so i wanted to kind of add some more like crunchy to my eating habits um i got some plantain chips so these are four ounce bags uh, they are salted but they're non-gmo verified gluten-free they have zero grain trans fat. So I got two bags of those to try out. Um, I got dried apple rings. I've heard that these are either you love them or you hate them. These are the, um, the it says on the here, a little sweet, a little sour, no added sugars, but organic dried apple rings. And then, so I also got some pecans because I really love pecans or pecans, however you say it. I say pecan. Um, 
but I really wanted to get some more like nuts and stuff to snack on. So I got some of those, but I also got dates because I've really been loving the Lara bars. Y'all, I had no friggin' clue the dates were this big. Like, look at how, like that is one date right there. It looks like a massive raisin. They're huge. So I don't know. I don't even know how to eat a date. That might sound really dumb. I don't know if you just like pop it in your mouth, if you're supposed to cut it open, but I really enjoy the way those Lara bars taste. So um, that's why I wanted to try these. And then another thing I got is these Good Bite Coconut Brownies. There's six per bag. They're gluten-free, raw, organic, vegan, the whole nine. So I got, I cannot actually, I think I'm gonna open one of these and try it now. Oh, they're so little. Okay, so there's 60 calories for one cookie. Holy hot dang. Is there a minimum order? I'm legit gonna buy more of these like right now. That is so good. Oh my gosh, it's good. Wow, those are really good. I also got um, these crunchy almond flour cookies. They are the chocolate chip brand. They are vegan and gluten-free. These are one of those, like I really wanted like a crunchy snack. So I got these and you can also tell I have a sweet tooth. I think that the reason, and this might be TMI, I think the reason I bought so much sweet stuff is because like <laughs> this week is like my time of the month. And I know that's TMI, but you get the desire for chocolate when it's your time of the month and so i am not responsible for decisions made when um i was going off of pms and hormones um when buying chocolate so this is another thing that i've read um but i did see that they have organic creamy tomato soup it's 110 calories which i think regular tomato soup i'm pretty sure is a lot higher than that and it doesn't come in a aluminum can so i was like cool i want to just try these out this was more of a trial run here. Um, so got two of these tomato soups. I, it's, I really love tomato soups. Sam thinks I'm absolutely nuts, but I love them. And then the last thing I got, I am so excited for. So I really love Mama Chia. There is a, a Mama Chia drink. You can get it at Lidl. It's in that like first little refrigerated areas like with all the other refrigerated drinks. Mm, Mama Chia is really good. So I found these Mama Chia squeeze packs. So it's got 1200 milligrams of omega-3, no sugar. It's got fiber in it. It's organic, non-GMO verified. And it is basically a little eight pack of these little like chia seed snacks. And because I love that Mama Chia stuff so much, I grabbed some of these. So they're 70 calories. They're just these like tiny little snacks. Um, I am so excited to try these you guys you have no idea like I clearly love chia seeds in my drinks um, I like to eat chia seed pudding with fruit So this was like one of the main reasons when I saw thrive market had mama chia. I was like Okay, I guess I'll try it out. So that is it for the thrive market haul um I've got to go film a regular video now because it is Saturday and Sundays are when my like I have a video go live on Sundays and so I like to have it done on a Saturday so that I don't have to like worry about filming it early in the morning so it's done by the afternoon. So um, we're gonna go hang out with Sam Sam in a bit. Oh my gosh you guys I'm so frustrated. So I actually had talked about this in my last vlog and if you follow me on Instagram you know probably know all about it because I talk too much about it because it stresses me out. I talked about it in the last vlog and then I ended up cutting the footage out because I thought the problem was over. But basically for the last few weeks, Sam and I have had a skunk friend kind of visit our house at nighttime and we've gone back and forth. We thought it was a skunk that was trapped initially because they spray a lot. We thought it was, um, the last time we thought it was a mom and some babies that were trapped. And I just want to make this long story short. We don't believe in killing animals here. Um, and in South Carolina, the law says you can't relocate skunks. You have to kill them. And so anybody who comes to trap a skunk and take them away, even if they tell you they're not going to kill them, unless they are a rescue, they are going to kill them. And the it's just so horrible the way that they kill skunks. Like, it's not humane. It's not euthanized. Like, I'll leave it at that. So we've had this skunk friend visiting us. And Sam and I tried for a very long time to do everything as humane as possible to keep the skunk out. And 
last night so the last time he was here it was actually a week about a week and a half ago it was the friday before sam's birthday so 18 17 16 it was friday the 15th was the last time he was here and we that's when we thought it was a mom and babies and we thought they were trapped and we called a bunch of people. We had one guy scheduled to come out to get him before I knew that they kill skunks. And so we ended up canceling that. Called a rescue. No rescues are taking um, or helping with skunks right now because of COVID. They like, they can't support. Anyway, and we secured all the places around the house um, so that the skunk couldn't get out. We put a wildlife camera under the house. Skunk was gone, went under there. Um, we had no issues for a week. And then last night at like actually it was this morning at like 4 a.m all of a sudden every animal in the house woke up and rushed to the corner in our bedroom where they usually where the like skunk stays under the house and i was it, i just knew it they're under there and sure enough we heard them it actually is skunks mating which is even worse because my house is not your your man cave okay so i can hear them and it sprays, of course, and I was just like, something's got to give. Like, we've done everything that we can do. Uh, we still don't believe in killing animals. What the F is going to happen? So my husband goes outside because the skunk has stopped. On average, skunks are six to eight pounds, male skunks. Now, we don't know what kind. There are different kinds, but we believe that the average size skunk for our region, from what we've Googled, is six to eight pounds. If I had to guess, based on the weight of my heaviest cat, the skunk was probably closer to 20 to 23. He was a monster, and he wasn't aggressive. I want to make that very clear. So, again, still don't agree in killing animals with killing animals. Uh, he wasn't aggressive, but he was like very much so trying to get back under our house. What we think had happened is basically homeboy had brought a girl back, done what they do, and then he had walked her home and was trying to come up back to my house to go to sleep. No, my house is not your man cave. And so he was trying to get back into the hole and Sam was like, Sam was pissed because he had completely destroyed like what we used to keep him out of the house to start with and he had destroyed it in another place. So today has been full of running around and getting things to get rid of the skunk because we are just trying to do this as humane as possible. And like, I believe you can get rid of skunks humanely, but like everything I've read online says, oh, skunks are like fruit from the low hanging tree. You don't have to worry about it. They're not gonna fight you. It's not gonna take a long time. Once you get rid of them, they won't come back. That is BS. This cotton swab ass looking skunk was like bitchy about wanting to get back underneath my house. I was like pissed that my husband was shining a light on him and not letting him. So I'm about to go because I also smell like a skunk, which is fabulous. Um, it, hmm, I've ranted basically for five minutes, but I've done everything I can do. We are exhausting all options. But today is going to be the final straw. Like we've got, he can't come back under my house or I'm going to just start crying and like move out and sleep in my parents' house. Like I will literally go sleep at my parents' house if that is what it takes. I need him to go away. And I'm just like, this isn't just lipstick. I know like I'm about to go somewhere. Um, it's actually chapstick and lipstick. Whenever I have a lot of anxiety, I chew on my lips. I chew on my lips a lot, as is, but whenever I have a lot of anxiety, I chew on them a lot more. So I've been chewing a lot today. It's been awesome. Um, okay. But that's just to catch up on what we're doing today at the Robinson household. It's been so stressful because, like, it's your house. Like, if you've ever smelled a skunk, like, you don't want that living underneath your house. You definitely don't want it mating under your house. Because what if, I mean, obviously I'm joking here, but like what if homeboy falls in love and brings his lady friend back and wants to get married to her and live under my house with all of their little skunk babies? Listen, I've Googled skunk babies. Oh my God, they're the cutest things ever. But this gigantic man monster was, I've never in my life, like I've seen pictures of skunks. First of all, he was not black and white. He was like 90% white, 10% black. His black was only on the bottom. So it literally looked like a gigantic cotton swab. Like Sam was like, you shouldn't come out here and look at it if you want to. Like he's just chilling in our yard. And he literally looked like a giant cotton swab. Like the end of a cotton swab. I'm just like stressed out, man. For six minutes, I've done talk about this daggum. Right. We're gonna... This is, I am testing out my new tripod. So, sorry, I guess I should remove these toilet glasses. Um, I got, for a long time, I've been saying that 
I wish there was like a middle sized tripod. Um, cause like I'll put this, like I'll sit down and I'll put this on the counter and then I'm like, hey. And I have this tripod now that it is perfect. Oh, I'm so excited. Last I was talking to you guys, um, I was talking about the skunk. So I am back home. I got everything I need to get for the skunk. And what I am going to do is just finish up filming this or finishing up edit, mm, finish up editing this vlog. And then I found, what was it online? Hold on. Okay, so it says um, baking soda, like one, okay. Four tablespoons of baking soda, a few squirts of Dawn dish soap, and one quart of peroxide. And you put it in a large bucket and you use it to clean. It's not a solution that you can like sit for a long time. Um, everything I've read that's like makeshift, like what that has those ingredients in it says like, don't leave it sitting. If you don't use it all, throw it away and make another mixture. And honestly, like the stuff is so cheap to make it with that it's not a huge deal, but it can like explode, I think, if you leave it sitting for or like you know what I'm talking about but that's kind of the goal um it is 4 40 p.m right now so we've got about 20 minutes till Sam is going to be off work and one of our friends is coming over later to help Sam kind of like reinforce everything and get the house the like undermost part of our house covered up and they're going to cover all the holes because like this skunk was so massive that if he just gets pissed off enough like I could see him just going to a different hole under our house and our house is so old that it doesn't have like those things now that they put on the under parts of the house like little grates or whatever so yay a vlog about skunks don't you just love it i really gotta get back to editing i'm literally just procrastinating okay, guys i think this might be it for today's vlog hold on one second let me adjust this tripod all right i'm actually editing this vlog as i like sit here and record this um, and I realized I did not have an outro, so um, that is gonna be it for today. I will, we're gonna try, I don't want you guys to hold us to it, but we're gonna start trying to do three vlogs a week because you guys just really love vlog content. That was one thing that got over and over and over requested when I asked what kind of content you guys wanted to see. Um, and then we're gonna start in, like tying more requests that you guys give me um, on Instagram in general into the vlog channel. So like things that people will ask for, like reviews for things that don't fit into my like fashion channel or my fashion blog, I'm gonna start reviewing them here. So hit the subscribe button if you have not already. Um, the guys are outside right now. One of our friends came over and he is helping my husband cut. Um, I'll actually put a screen up, a picture of it right up here on the screen. So this is kind of what they've done. And I'm pretty sure that's skunk proof. Like I texted, um, a picture of it to my parents and I said at this point if he can get through this he can have the house we'll leave I'm done he can just have it I'll move out next week like <laughs> um, if he can get through that he deserves it so that's it you guys thanks so much for watching I hope that you enjoy the vlogs and we will see you guys on Thursday